Big cool Jedi, and you know what? I'm not the last one. No, you're not. Doing it. Just wait till you get that second one. Doing you're gonna, it. You're gonna really. You're gonna. Re How's your pecs? What a responsible use. Did you see the fucking Disney released a fucking high res image of Kylo Ren without a shirt on? Oh man. For all your memeing needs. Hey, it takes a lot of muscle power and torque to spin these Jedi swords around. Even though they actually only weigh the, the the amount of the hilt and are like one pound. But the actors were told to treat them like they're heavy. But only in the first series! Greetings, young apprentice. Have you come seeking knowledge of the past? Those who do not learn have from you history are doomed to repeat it. Y you know, I don't have so any beef say, with history. As a chronicler of the academy Fucking here on nerd. Dantooine, I feel it is my Yo, we saw duty Revan to share Mag the history Fest. of our old Revan yeah. was dope. He had his own soundtrack. Unfortunately, no, no, that no. Uh, you're thinking that you saw Kylo. Kylo had the soundtrack. Yeah, Revan, Revan, Revan was standing in the wars. back. The fall that of Revan has that Malak, cool like Boba Fett kind of looking mask with the hood. Lessons to be learned from these events. If we do not wish to repeat the mistakes of our past. Nah, totally. History lesson one. Don't fuck with the Mandos. I'm re- There's I'm one standing behind me. With a big ass gun <laughs> He's just wait, standing right waiting there. Waiting to see what I choose. Um, tell me the history of the Jedi. Like, from the beginning. Of course, I could not tell you the entire history of our order. The Jedi have existed for thousands upon thousands of years. It's not we actually written down in a current itself. EU Instead, book, so I'm not allowed to say it in the game the because this game is canon Kuhn. at the time of its release. Like it is Revan, written down in a book a that is inside of a tree. The By the way, that this shit is no longer canon. Republic. Oh. Get out of here, canon. But the war left both the Republic and our own order severely weakened. For 20 years, we struggled to rebuild. Uh, Exar Kun was a dick. A terrible conflict. I'd like I'd like to imagine that because this is no longer canon in this world, they see the official canon is no longer canon. <laughs> it's just another side. There's a split, and they're like, "No, no, man, that's just dumb." Our world is real. What are you talking about? Get the blue milk out of the out of the guy there. Um, what does that have to do with Revan and Malik? <laughs> what are you What are you trying to what? All things in time. You shall learn that history is an intricate weaving of many events. It's a rich tapestry, man. No one thing can be understood without the proper context. Twenty years ago, the Mandalorians... Okay, aware so... Exar Kun, the state, dickhead Jedi, did a big, on the big dark rim. side that week in the Republic. Only then the Mandos the go, oh, snap! After much Republic's debate, weak. Chose not to intervene. Then Revan and Malak, after the beating the, the Mandos, go, Oh, snap, the, the Republic's itself, weak! Mm -hmm. There would be no retaliation. Exar, uh, uh, um, I wanna, I wish I could back up to, to read that line about Exar Kun, but... Uh, Exar Kun was, like, one of the first fucks to go fuck? No, only the most recent of the fu that we got thousands of years of dickheads yeah this is just the most recent we just have to pick an this arbitrary is time okay okay Exar Kun is the Kaiser of World War One. yeah 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 Revan and Malak are Hitler yeah 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 yeah. got it but we ended up in a war anyway the Mandalorians stockpiled resources from their conquered worlds preparing for massive there's also assault. the obvious uh, synergy ago, here of like uh, the, what, what's that fucking thing that the treaty that england space. signed with germany no versailles no no the the, the, the one Republic the one where it's like there's no the war as long as you wars. just keep yeah. poland sure okay. and here they're like well as long as the mandalorians don't attack republic systems i guess there's be no big war all right the, the before the, the the League of Nations early on. Oh yeah, or that's gonna do big big things. Big things. Protect the world. We did. The fuck is that agreement called? My history sucks. So who got in? Um. Yeah. The Republic petitioned the Jedi Council for aid, but there were many factors to consider before we allowed ourselves to be drawn into another conflict so soon after the war with Exar Kun. While the Jedi Council preached patience, there were many among our order who were eager for us to join the I'm battle. I'm literally reading that as like Exar Kun. Exar like, Senpai. Yeah, like, <laughs> it's, it's been abjectly Malak. ruined. It's, it's horribly many ruined. They rallied the Jedi to their cause, and against the wishes of their masters, joined the Republic fleet he used to be the Exar Mandalorians. <laughs> Revan was a brilliant military leader. I, I love and this. It's like, began to win okay guys, we just had a big victory. war with the Dark Jedi. Four we really don't ago, want many of you to go to war. They surrender. Totally. They got their asses kicked. Oh my god. So Revan did the right thing, right? 
Totally. No one is denying that Revan was one of the keys to defeating the Mandalorians. But something happened out there on the Outer Rim. Instead of returning after the war's end, the ships under Revan's command went deep into unexplored space. Gotta they claimed to be searching him. for the last Gotta remnants get of the Mandalorian fleet. All contact was lost. For many months, it was assumed some great disaster had befallen the entire fleet. Everyone thought they were dead. There were unsubstantiated rumors of Revan and Malak being seen on a number of different planets during these months. Scattered sightings that were never confirmed. Mm-hmm. Where'd they go? Perhaps they simply went far beyond the edges of Republic space. Maybe they found previously undiscovered hyperspace routes to the ends of the galaxy. Nobody knows for certain. Three years ago, Revan and Malak Whoops. returned at the head of a massive invasion Warp, fleet. Wah, wah. Revan had assumed the title of Sith Lord. The hero had become a conqueror. They met God, and God was well, sitting. He was sitting in a golf cart, and he had no idea what he was doing. So there's a really- And they went, man, fuck this shit. <laughs> there's a really crazy thing that is like- briefly hinted at in the second game where it's like you know okay so star wars is the galaxy right sure so you know you hit the galactic edge and it's just like appears to be infinite blackness yeah okay in star wars there is shit out there in that yeah and people don't know what it is and it's like what the fuck is that yeah, yeah, yeah. well like like that that race that we talked about like a while ago that came from outside of the fucking <laughs> limits of what we knew of the you galaxy you mean destiny's the darkness um, God, what you was... mean the you mean the the reapers the reapers yeah. Reaper. Bioware loves that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, how did Revan get? So... Where no? Where where did he? Yeah. <laughs> Some how about of the that ships one? In the Sith fleet where do you get those ships? that were under Revan's command during the Mandalorian Wars, but many more are of an alien design we've never seen before. Uh -oh. The source of this massive For fleet is her, one of the many things say. about the Sith we cannot explain. It seems impossible to have created it in such a short time, yet we cannot deny its existence. The source of the Sith soldiers is unfortunately much easier to understand. Initially, the bulk of the force were former Republic Whoops. soldiers who had served under Revan. Mm -hmm. With each conquest, thousands more flocked to join the, the Star Wars universe has like the numbers. biggest amount of Even betrayals and backstabs possible. <laughs> sometimes you send your soldiers to Vietnam, and sometimes power. while they're over there, they go fuck this shit. And they kind of just, you know, are like, yeah, we're doing our That own led thing directly now. to the historical Fille des Rois in Quebec, you know that? Yeah. Because yeah, yeah, it was yeah. impossible to keep Frenchmen in the colonies mm -hmm. because they're like, no, fuck this. I'm going to go hang out with, with the natives and bang a bunch of broads I'm and get live laid. that life. I'm going to get laid. You can't stop me. <laughs> Here come the Métis. Yeah. Uh, how can anyone hope to stop the Sith? They're so cool. For I mean, two years, the Sith were mm. all but invincible. Fortunately, Bastila and her battle meditation allowed the Republic to win a few key victories and kept the Sith from total triumph. In desperation, we set a trap for the Dark Lord. Bastila was with the strike team that tried to capture Revan. As you probably know, she was there at Revan's end. That was nearly a year ago, but things have not improved. Malak has stepped in and assumed the mantle of Dark Lord for himself, oh. though he's far from Revan's equal in strategy or tactics. Still, his fleet continues to grow in both ships and soldiers. If we do not find some way to stop the Sith soon, Malak will overwhelm us with sheer numbers. I wonder if they actually, like, convinced everybody to, to flip, or if they actually just went, yo, group-dominated mind. No, you can't do that on that scale. It's actual just personal charisma and like, man, fuck the Republic. Yeah. Who wants a totalitarian dictatorship run by the devil? <laughs> I do. Unless you do have some, <laughs> unless you're fucking dripping with, with mid and midichlorians. Well, also it's like the nature of like in history of like uh, armed forces that are highly loyal to singular generals. <laughs> it's like, it's kind of easy to get those yeah, guys yeah. to go along. Because guess what? The people fucking, they follow him and him only. And that's hey, all man, that matters. I don't know about this shit, but that guy's my guy. And he was there with me at that fucking hill. Yeah. yeah. You weren't fucking there. Did we not just play L.A. Noir? <laughs> yes, we did. This facility is a training academy. The archives here are restricted to those who have attained the rank of master. 
we must protect over-eager Padawans from being exposed to dangerous knowledge. The pursuit of knowledge is a noble goal, but there are some things that require the wisdom of a master. To yeah, you gotta be OS stand. level nine. You should ponder the history of Revan. It contains gotta get those thetans out of your body. There's a you big sideways Madden. smile going on, <laughs> on my face right before now. You, you gotta get those thetans out before you get that knowledge. Fail forward. Yeah. <laughs> hey, man. It's fine. At the end of the day, uh... Oh, yeah, okay, that's fine, that's fine, alright. We'll be going now. Oh, should I promise to stop the Sith? <laughs> <laughs> sure Your do. confidence is admirable, but you must guard against pride and arrogance. So this is, this is the, 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 dark the side. like, the Revan's Sith might be cartoonishly evil, but, like, the, the Jedi, Jedi Order is such a bunch of fucking buzzkill. Mm -hmm. You must always be on I'll fucking kick your yeah. ass, man! And they're like, nah, man, just Think shh. Yeah. Like, I don't wanna it's relax. It's like, what if there was a cool one? Like like Kit Fisto. Kit Fisto's all right. All right, I'll th I'll think on this. I'll think about it. May the force be with you. But yeah, no, like it totally like you have that that troop of people coming back from the war, and they're like, yeah, you saved the day. We're heroes, right? Yeah, 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 cool. All right, unit, your next mission is crime, and they're all like, all yeah, right, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. fine. <laughs> I don't know about this, but you seem cool. Hey, you can totally go into like a journal and see active quests if we're, if we're actually a bit lost as to where the fuck what would do. Okay, if you completed, you've been, you must return to Master Czar to complete your training. There you go. Master Czar is. Ed Asner? No. Master Czar, I believe, is a Yoda 2. No? Oh, it's the no, it's the guy that was over there. The, the, the jackass sex head. Not. That guy. Fisto. No, not Fisto. Well, Kit Fisto's a total. Oh, no, yeah, yeah, guy. yeah, yeah. He's, um, he's a fucking. You're right. You have done it. He's a Cthulhu man. Well he's the green one. Your lightsaber apprentice. Your crystal. I just see all head tentacles. Perfectly. It Gross. is rare indeed. Man, you are such a fucking prodigy, man. Constructs their lightsaber. These pockets was are built to kill rare. the Sith for real. Found only in certain caves, strong in the Force. By adding crystals to your lightsaber, you can alter. Don't worry, you keep the upgrade system from the other weapons. It's just different as crystals. Oh, force caves here on I wonder if anyone's tried putting two different colored crystals. crystals in the same slot. Oh no, there's only one slot for the colors. No, I know, but like you cut it in half, like, like fucking Funkmaster Flex. That would probably <laughs> just Grandmaster like Flash. explode in yeah. your head. <laughs> or you create a new genre of music called rap and hip hop. <laughs> uh, guys, I don't know if you can see my lightsaber. I've uh, discovered a new spectrum of color. It's. I am aware that it is causing you to go mad as you look on it. <laughs> or maybe you just have a cool t lightsaber with two, like, you know, two colors oh, in it. Oh, man, that's one of the most underrated uh, Lovecraft stories where this fucking meteorite touches down and it's a new color that doesn't exist on the visual spectrum. Oh, wow. And you look at it and you just start to get <laughs> sick. Yeah, 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 yeah. Your lightsaber Tell me more about lightsabers. As a member of the Jedi Order. With such recognition comes honor and respect and the attentions of dangerous enemies. Are you a Jedi? The Sith and Dark Jedi will seek to destroy you, apprentice. And you must prove yourself worthy in battle against a foe who also wields a lightsaber. Are you ready to face the final challenge, apprentice? I'm ready to face the third trial. Unless the third trial, like you say, honor and respect, Every unless it's Jedi a robot with six arms holding lightsabers <laughs> with a heart beating. You must truly Don't understand this that. before you are accepted into the Order. You must see the corruption of the dark side for yourself. Even here on Dantooine, yeah, man. there are places where the dark side I can't believe sway, the dark side, it's so powerful, it just snares itself. everybody. The ancient grove, once used for deep meditation by the Jedi, is now tainted. Uh, unlike crack. A wave of there, in Last Jedi, the there's this fucking tree that's like a really good light side temple, but it looks like the most evil shit in the universe. They become a threat the to fucking the tree. A threat mm. the I thought Jedi for sure that thing was evil. I don't fucking know. Cath in the area become savage. You want me to go kill rats? <laughs> Seriously? The sounds are but a symptom of the true problem. You must journey into the grove and confront the true source of the darkness. That is your task. Is this a darkness that you put back there after every Jedi comes no. along? And no, they, they, uh, for your training, they always, there's always some yes, bullshit they find going around. New, yeah, right. You know more than you're telling me. I can me. say no more. Some things... You must see for yourself. Oh. 
None of the other Jedi like, what if there's no evil around? Do they just, like, task. look around and... This, my young apprentice. Uh, there, there's Jedi something happening in the kitchen. Clear. You do a written exam. Behind the fridge. That lasts forever. It's like passing the bar. Everybody forever. fails it a couple the times. The side still yeah. taints the ancient grove. Your lessons cannot continue until the... Get out of here. Go fuck up the, the grove. Side ...has been stopped. This is your task, apprentice. May the Force be with you. Yeah, you did it. Cool. Let's get the fuck out of here. It's really hard to not make jokes that are too current. The, the, the far just, too current. I'm trying so hard. Oh I almost, man! I almost Star did Wars. Mind. This was a good time to do a Star Wars LP. Yeah. We thought because Star Wars, and then we realized, oh no, we can't talk about the new Star yeah. Wars. Yeah. Like, when do I learn how to do other things with the Force? You know, that thing. The thing where you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So you're finally allowed to leave. Yeah. Which is right out there. Yeah, I'm just trying to see this. It's outer courtyard, council chamber, so it's probably straight ahead then. Mm -hmm. And uh, before we get into big fighting, why don't we're we gonna have to level up? Why don't we our top boys. off our boys? Oh, also, I was informed that uh, because uh, Pockets' dex isn't high enough, you might as well just throw on the heaviest fucking armor you can handle. Yeah, because we were misunderstanding dex. Yeah, we were correct? misunderstanding the dex scaling stuff. RPGs. Okay, well... So, uh, do you have anything that's higher than eight? No, nope. fuck it, alright. I'm going big. I, I think we uh, kind of understood that implicitly last time before we did it. Isn't that crazy? Well, here we go. Kando. Kandoris! Kando the Mando, you can definitely benefit from some strength. For strength... Uh, that's only for melee. Uh, uh, yeah, I was just gonna... Okay, fine. Well, <laughs> Fine... Do you want to shoot guns, or do you want to be he's, tough? He's gonna be shooting, I guess, so yeah, fine. Whatever. Honestly, the usual way that I break it down is, do you have a lightsaber? You're gonna be swinging it. Do you have anything other than a lightsaber? You're gonna be shooting it. And you can just heal up. Yeah, heal up, man. You're fucking big and strong. But what about this feat? Oh, you remember this screen? It's, the, it's everyone's favorite! Gun. Oh, you can you can uh, get the master power blast or uh, what's that other one? It's the it, rapid, rapid shot, shot, which is flurry. Honestly, yeah, I'll give you. Yeah, why don't you do that? Why don't you do that? Yeah, yeah. All right, that's good. Hey, what about you, T three, sitting right there in the middle? Who gives a shit about dark side, light side? You're a fucking robot. Keep your eye on the clock, by the way. <laughs> I as, see as it. We, okay, quick, quick, faster. Uh, uh, you know what I love about T three? Dax, why Dax? That's, uh... Might as well make it- I mean, his intelligence is over the fucking top. Oh well, yeah, his intelligence is for, uh, skill modifiers. So the higher your int is, the more points you get for skills. Well, we might as well just push towards the numbers that are already the best. Well, what's the recommended? Let's see that. The recommended was Dax. Oh, yeah. Yeah, let's make him slightly tougher in, uh, in fights. Fine. <gasps> oh, yeah, you- yeah, okay, I can see where you pushed his- his stats here. He's doing droid things. He's doing computer stuff. Yeah, you can only go so high because your level isn't high enough to even pump it farther. Yeah, you could, you could, yeah, you could put up all those in one. I guess one in the one demo, in, and then, or yeah. you could save it. Yeah, might as well. I guess. Ha ha! We did it. Good. Okay. Two dirt bags and a droid. And I also learned that I can apparently switch teams instantly. Yep. And I, uh, I think I just mentioned it, but I learned that you can go talk to, uh, people back at the Ebon Hawk to continue their little side quests. Okay. Well, this is locked anyway. Wow. And we should be able to teleport there. Transit disabled. Alright. Uh, the- I would highly, highly suggest talking to everybody in your party, because they're all cool. Even Karth. Karth's side quest is good. I don't think he has anything to say. But, oh yeah, no, maybe he does. Ooh, good camera. Boop, <laughs> boop, weep, woop, weep, bow, weep. So right I on. absolutely love, like, T3's, like, dialogue chains, because it's all inferred. No translation whatsoever. Thank you, I appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, what do you want? Well, I was wondering if you had any more war stories. I was one of the best youth warriors yeah, in the he clan does. who in my time. 
No one before me had mastered the power of our basilisk war droids as quickly <laughs> Or as the Hyper Viper I'm gonna Mandalorian look that up. Himself, I don't know what course. that looks like. In those yeah. days, we were sweeping across the Outer Rim, destroying all who fought us. Young I'm imagining an exo squad. I combat, believe they are, in fact, exo opponents above a thousand worlds. Each brought back stories of his achievements. Holy shit. That's so much cooler than I thought it would be. What it looked like. Holy shit. It's an exo squad. <laughs> It's like a it's like a a, a dragon shaped exosuit. What its its mouth is all guns. Wow. <laughs> all right, Mandos go out and conquer worlds. I would have harnessed that power way faster. I'm so cool. We were still recovering from the war we fought with the Sith. We were not yet strong enough to fight the Republic again. We needed to train another generation to do that. <laughs> We would travel from world to world and descend on it in our basilisk war droids. I still remember my first combat. I remember it well, orbiting high above a placid world. Its defenses just. I feel like stirring. he's about to start talking As about the fucking gene seed any I minute now. Oh no, yeah. Wave to find <laughs> enemies in the thickest fighting. I remember sitting there in my armor, linked directly with a basilisk thrumming beneath. Man, me. it's just an entire my race of just like people have huge boners for murder. And talk about the Emperor and the Pax Astartes. Um, I didn't think Mando's got afraid. Yeah, exactly. Every new warrior has to fear to understand how I to love that it. the Universal Fictional that. come back to that is like, what? That's stupid. And the air was Not being afraid is stupid. It's scary. Of frozen vapor across <laughs> my path. I can't describe what it feels like to look directly down at a world, falling continuously as you circle it, with barely 15 centimeters of armor plate protecting you. When the magnetic locks disengaged on my droid, I plunged out of the drop bay towards the battle that waited below. Like, he sounds like he's gonna come in his pants. <laughs> That's uh, you, so you you pulled a you did a halo fucking jump is that what you're telling me? The exhilaration, the euphoria I you did felt the hero pose? as I yeah. streaked into the atmosphere, dodging self-guided projectiles. He did, and yeah, beam dude. He MDK it. An eighty-kilometer plunge through the atmosphere, dodging and weaving, <laughs> the outside of my armor glowing. You're like painting a real good picture here, Candorus. With barely thirty meters to spare, I twisted and skimmed the surface, firing at the giant beam generators that were in my path. The explosion from that sent shock waves that leveled the entire complex around it. It was the moment of my life. That's I want one. I am the Gibby. Those times, but things are different now. We can't go on fighting the way we did. There are too few of us left now. But I really don't want to talk about this anymore. That's the problem I with these uh, warrior races and a lot of fictions. Is there something else it's like when you, you have a larger know? galactic community that just goes, "Hey, this planet is always attacking everyone." Eventually, that does come back on you. Like the, I really feel I'm like the uh, Krogan in Mass right. Effect like took a lot from the Mandos here. Uh, okay, they breed super fast. They're super tough. They're they're hugely territorial and conquesty. Like, what do you do? Ah, oh, you kill their balls. Sure, that'll do it. Sure, kill their nuts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Speaking of nuts, he's like, I don't, I don't want to talk about more stories. My pants are moist. They're, I need to refill. Do you have any of that blue mi milk I can blue dip guy. into? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the vineyard. Uh, okay, it's gotta be that. It's gotta be this in-between one, then. Uh, Air Attack Mercantile. No, 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 that's not. How do we leave? That door won't open for me. Map to the outer courtyard. Uh, maybe you had to talk to the droid. That seems like That's it. Oh. Why don't I? You can't... You can't boost in here. Oh, shit! It's restricted by armor? Oh, that sucks. Is it? Yeah. Are you sure? It literally- it, it, click it again. <gasps> ah, fuck. Balls. Huge balls. Alright. I saw one that was seven. Light battle armor. Yeah, let's see if that's still- still. Damn! <sighs> five? I gotta go down to five? No, let's try- No, it's the armor type. You need like Jedi something, robes something. essentially. Uh, so that's, like if you if you put on yeah, clothing, it yeah. would it would be like it would be even a, a basic lot. ass combat suit. 
Yeah. All right. Well, keep Davik shit on, and later we'll get Jedi robes and shit. Sebastian was like properly wearing the flowy flow flow fucking hustle, Man. hustle robes. That's stupid. Why would the forest care about your armor? Because you're basically a wizard. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> well, fair That's enough. one of the dumber ones. Fair enough. That's bad. All right. Sh it should have done it anyway. All right. A creature must make a saving throw. <laughs> All right. Let's save the game because now we're actually in prime Dantooine. Now you have the ability to go anywhere on Dantooine. Dantooine. You will talk to people. They will complain at you. They will tell me about their problems. The Jedi Council hey, can you solve my problem non-violently? Arlen Matali likes to no. lord his wealth over the rest of us. What I wouldn't give for him to eat his own words. His son seems like a nice boy, Arlen though. Arlen Matali. Huh. <laughs> Master Quattro was hurt very badly. She might die. I heard it was her own apprentice that did it. Of the Bajina family. Dude, I, I've seen the fucking image, uh, like the standee. That's it just like Quattro Vagina. To stop <laughs> and reflect on the beauty of nature hey, Nemo. and the Force. I am sorry. I tend to get carried away. When's he gonna tilt his head a little bit to the right? Uh, when's it gonna Nemo. happen? Is there something I can help you with? Uh. Yeah, man. You're all like fucking hippie. This guy out. has a real name, so he's important. You're all hippied out. Tell me about, um. My task. Indeed. What is Tell it me what you do. would like from me? What do you know of the tainted grove? The council see that has fucking. I seen it. Yeah, you see it. Fucking grove. Just floating back there. They have not. I know it's tainted. Do I know not it's jacked be so up. Quick to judge circumstances about which you are ignorant. Not everything may be as transparent as you would believe. The grove can be found to the south and east in the plains. But be wary of Cathounds. They're very mad. They may be agitated the stupid by the power in the grove. And I guess they're force sensitive. Else I can help Everything is force sensitive to a degree. But I mean really, real, real. Very well. What is it you wish to know? About Dantooine. And or the lightsaber crystal. Give me a lightsaber crystal. Ah, yes. Those caves. Those caves are dangerous for the unwary. Kinreth spiders infest the places. They are attracted by the colors and heat given off by the crystals, I think. It is a pity. Those caves are strong with the Force. Is there something else I can help so you with? So careful if you find those dank caves. Mm, big spiders are there. Okay, what, what about, about you? Me? I am truly flat. I don't really care, but you might have know? something sick. Tell us, tell me about, like... I don't know, a mission. <laughs> Your name, Nemo, what's up with that? In a name is misleading, young one. You, of all people, should remember that. Yeah, pocket. Is there something else I can help you with? You mean, um... Navara Char? Oh my god, I completely forgot her fucking <laughs> name. I hope your time is well spent. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Speak of the fucking devil. Oh man, that's stupid. I fear it is I'm an idiot. Time Gar! Oh, greetings, friend. Oh, I think you're a badass too. No, you're just the same old man. Old, you're, he's got a different shirt. Agreed to hear our petition? Um. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, yeah. Yeah, sure. Yeah, uh, they're waiting for you. Yes. Thank you, Master Jedi. Stay here, Rilka. I'll be back in an hour or so. Yes, dear. Good luck. Okay, bye. Good. Good, good. What do you got, Rilka? On your way. I hope the Jedi Council will listen to Gar. If they don't, I don't know what we'll do. Well, you just skip that side quest. I just sent him on his way, I did. Off he goes. Did you literally- I think you might have actually just skipped that side quest. <laughs> well... Good things. Good things, then. Let's talk to John, then. Jedi? How long can you people continue to sit by and claim you protect us? Protectors? Ha! You sit in your enclave safe from the Mandalorians while we suffer. What? Uh, there's one right next to me. Um, what are you on about, you? Those Mandalorian brutes have killed my daughter. You should have protected her better. And you call yourself Jeez. her father. And what am I supposed to do against a dozen Mandalorians and Duros? Nothing. There was nothing I could do. They came to our land demanding our livelihood. But Ilsa, my Ilsa, said no. <laughs> Just 
cold, man. That's cold. I mean, you're not wrong. Hey, what do they tell you when you're about to get mugged? Here's my wallet. Here you go. Only an idiot says no when they have a gun to their face. She was always impulsive. There was nothing I could Oh, now she's a dead idiot, I guess. Too many of the Mandalorians and their Duro's allies. I've come here to ask you, please, Master Duros, Jedi. Duro's, that's the stop cantina, these motherfucker. Okay. Revenge for my I daughter. I mean, those animals, I say. Your problems are not my concern. Revenge is not. Oh, a good fuck reason. that. Revenge is a good reason. You got sometimes. a hole. You got a hole. Okay. All right. Well, hey, look. I mean, I'm not a Jedi yet, but maybe you could. Yeah. Just give me, well, give me a dollar. Give you all I have. Just please annihilate them. Candorus has turned around from this conversation. Did you see that? He has. He doesn't want none of it. You know what they call me.